Hello and welcome to another edition of Hardcore Fisherman with me, Scott Senior. If it's your first time around here, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. The thumbs down button works just as well. Hope you enjoy. I am just narrating over the video because the sound was that quiet. I tried to turn it up, it didn't work. I had my waterproof camera case on with the camera and it made it really quiet. So I'm just explaining here what we're going to do today. So basically, I'm going to explain. I've just shown you the date and time. Hopefully you can see that. But yeah, we are out on an episode of bait collecting this time. My trusty homemade shrimp drag net, prawn net, whatever you want to call it. It is my device to collect my own prawns and shrimp. If For those that haven't seen how I made it and the video of it working the first time, I shall put a link up in the top if I can now. I shall see if I can get the link up there for you. Go check that one before you watch this one. So you'll understand what, how I've done it. So basically now here we go. The, the principle of it is you get the rope. As I said, like so, in your hand. You get ready to throw the net in. This is just a trial run I'm doing at the moment. You grab the other end which has a knot on the end. You can turn it into a handle if you pull it out to wrap your hand round. But you want to make sure you grab onto the other end of the knot. Like so, look. See? It's just a trial run. I've got my bucket there. and You may see me walking down. There we go. I'm now in business for a trial run. Going against the water. So yeah, can you see the loop on my hand? That gives you an idea of how to pull it. It works better with the knot sometimes. It doesn't dig in your hand as much. I do have gloves and I think I did put my gloves on during this. If I remember rightly. But just for a trial run I wanted to see if it was what it was going to work. And there was anything about. We just did a little walk up and down the wall. Towards Mr. Chills on Macro. If I haven't said we're on St. Andrew's Key. <coughs> in Hull. Drag netting down the Humber. <coughs> Towards Lord of Line. Towards Mr. Chew's in a sense. Mr. Chew's restaurant. That, those that are from Hull that know the place. Is a good little bit. It's my little place that I love to drag my uh, drag net. For prawn and shrimp. Just a little health and safety warning here. You know I've got to add this in. It can be dangerous what I'm doing there. You might want to wear a life jacket or something. Tell someone where you're going. Tell people you're going to be doing that sort of thing. If you can, take somebody with you. So at least if you have an accident, someone can call the um, Coast Guard. Because if you fall in, your phone gets wet, everything gets wet. You know, you're not going <coughs> to be able to call. So do tell people. Try to take someone with you can. Excuse my voice a minute. Uh, just one second. So here we go. You've got to keep moving it over the obstacles, as I said. And I've already explained, so at least ring somebody, tell them you've got where you're going to be and all that, and if you don't come back, then they'll know something's happened. But always go with two people, it's best. One could carry the bucket if you wanted to, and you could walk along, and then get to your end of your destination, empty the bucket, fill it up, then come back. But, yeah. As you can see, the wall doesn't look the most surface of walls. It's cracked like hell. Too much pressure could probably snap some of them and you can go in. So be steady. Keep your feet going. Always make sure what's around you. Wear sensible shoes. Boots if you can. Don't let your boots. Shoelaces dangle, but... I'm sure I remember hearing some along a few years ago about some guy doing the same thing and he tripped over his laces or something and went in lucky he managed to grab onto something on the side like I think it was a little bit of a drainage bit that was popping out he managed to get out but lucky he survived but you always got to be careful you don't want anything dangling that you can trip on But we're going along here as you can see. I will show you a bit of the drag. 
rather than just cut it I'll show how it works and you've got to walk along I'll keep pulling it every now and then because you end up hitting something on the side that gets it jammed up this hall is just a tester as I've said to see if there's any prawn or shrimp about if there is when you get to the next bit and you pull up you'll know if there's anything in there or not but I'll stop here I think I'll pull it in look and then you've got to turn it around so what you've got to do is pull it up to where you are so you can turn it around I'm not checking at this point if there's out in really I'm just uh, keeping it turned around looks like I can turn it around for myself get it the other way look like that let it drop to the bottom and then go again none of your bait will be lost whatever you're collecting in there will be lost because it's in the back of the net so it's all nice and tightly compacted so yeah that part will be apparent as you go along it's more e easier to go with the tad than it is against the tad as you're walking down and the tad going in with you the way the tad is going it's pushing with you but if you're going the other way it's more harder so basically we'll just show you this this walk along the wall for the first test and as we get into the video I won't show you the full walks what I'll do is I'll just um, show you me setting off putting it in and then I'll cut the bits out until I get back to where I'm about to haul it and that way you're not watching me walking up and down the wall <coughs> for half an hour you get to the good bits after so long so I'm just explaining now <coughs> in the video I was just talking about what I'm doing <coughs> the safety aspects this session was for me Vernon and Shane so the Holdenus Codfather is Shane go check his channel out <coughs> on YouTube go check him out he's a new new youtuber he's not been on too long go check out Vern he's been doing it for a while now Vern's sea fishing see so as you've got to check out for them bolt them little outlet pipes because you get caught on that and you can you keep going and you're stuck on it but yeah go check out the, those channels so this video is about a month old basically I've just been sorting the editing software out and been trying to sort a few stuff out so I haven't had a computer working right for a bit so I've got now I've got my computer working I've plugged in my microphone so I can do the it. Attach this to my t-shirt and do the narrating over the video. Hopefully you enjoy this narrating over the video. I'm sorry it had to happen but I'm sure you'd rather listen to me what I was actually doing but I'm trying to remember what I was actually saying but wasn't I was just doing the safety aspects and explaining the points of it. Well, you can see the little outcrops and stuff and things that you could trip on so be very careful <clears throat> always keep looking down what you what you're going to be stepping on it was spitting a little bit this day that's why i had the camera on <clears throat> so here we go one second i'm now about to bring the net up for its first um, test it's the same every time i go i do a little drag for the first test just to test the if there's anything going to be down there if I have a haul and come back from the distance from there to Mr. Chew and back and there's no in it then I know it's not going to be worth going all the way down so as you can see I'm now bringing the net up you can now see there is a few in the bottom it looks there like I've got some I'm just putting my gloves back there because I did put my gloves back right with me to use Got my drink. I always take a drink with me 
you're going to need a little bit of juice because you just take it out of you my arthritis doesn't half get a workout when it's pulling that there we go make sure everything's ready put in the right pocket so I don't actually sit on my phone or out I have got a bucket of water I don't think I showed you that I want that you just use the other end of your rope tie it to the bucket drop it in make sure it tilts and fill your bucket up with the humber water is what you want you want the water out of the humber don't put fresh water in it always collect the water when you get there so here I am about to check the net so we'll uh, we'll go on there and we'll see how it goes some love we'll show you what's in it as it goes along so we're now going through the actual net to bring the back end to the front and make sure you with my net you have to be careful because you can squash the prawns in the shrimp that's in the net with the metal sides that's on it so we are showing you you can actually see the prawns already size of them already in the shrimp and I've just shown you some but I've got, you can see the little bits of rain spitting down on me size of them prawns the live juicy prawn look at that proper bits as I said me we was using them for me Shane and Van on um, where did we go Easington was it no no it wasn't was it it was um, Dimlington I'm sure it was Dimlington but yeah it was up that way when we use these live shrimps and prawns obviously I had to keep cook a few and then I put some in the fridge because they didn't last some of them my pump disappeared so I couldn't keep them fresh it was Tunstall, that was it. I remember now. It was Tunstall. I'm not going to edit that bit out. We all forget these things every now and then. So yeah, it was Tunstall we went. And I did actually catch a bass that, that day. That was the last video. If you've, if you've not seen that video, that was the last video I just, just put up on my YouTube. That was my last one. That was... Uh, Sunday's video we did a live stream Saturday and then Sunday we put the video out there I'm showing you all the little baby prawns and shrimp get rid of them you don't want them for such a short haul I've got a few I'm just cleaning the net out making sure there's nothing there but look as you can see I'm just showing you the prawns the shrimp that we're catching and the rest is bycatch is the little baby stuff which you just go for a back make sure you tap your net over the side and shake every bit back because there's a lot of them baby ones which will go back and grow up to be big shrimp and prawn see I'm cleaning any of the shrimp and small ones back for putting them back in <coughs> well, I did a few hauls to be honest I think I did about three hauls altogether I walked from that spot where I am now right down to the to the end of macro right right down there past where all the other anglers normally fish and then I come back towards Mr. Chew's way and went from there see you just tip it over the edge you shake it My, mine does have weight so mine works perfect for keeping to the bottom 
you've got to use some steel frame or something you can use an old bicycle wheel I've done that many a time bicycle wheel cut down in half and then put a flat bar across the bottom put some weight on there but I prefer mine it it works fine look I'll show you what's in there now looks quite a few already look shrimps and prawns it's not that many but there's enough there look some big ones for the first little test I didn't go very far but I did all right I would they work lovely down the Humber so yeah I've only just got around to editing this one I've watched a few videos since and today's video I was right this is where we have thrown the net back in you haven't seen that part I don't think I got that part and I've ended up going for a real long walk right down the other end steady walk on my legs because my legs are really bad walking far sometimes but I give it my best shot so I walked right down past B&Q all the way down the other end just to um, have a decent haul of dragging so basically yeah now you can see me um, just on my way back to the actual bucket to bring the net back as you can see I'm almost at my bucket so there I've had quite a long haul there really it's been a really long haul it's one of the biggest ones I've done right to the end I went towards the bridge work and come back down again with to meet my bucket there that's why it helps to have two people at least for safety reasons and someone can watch your bucket in case somebody says oh he's they know what you're doing and they're seeing you putting your stuff in your bucket and they're saying oh well I'm going to have his bit he's done the hard job I'll take that and scarper while he's right down there but no there we go look there's quite a nice haul in there as you can see a very nice haul of shrimp and prawn so I'm just getting set up for the camera to show you what I've got in I did actually talk to a guy on here off camera like it wasn't on and he was telling me they don't get prawns you might get shrimp in here if you're lucky but he said, you'll get prawns in here he was adamant you don't get prawns in there mate he knew best and he was giving me this spiel about how he knew better than I did and he lived in all, all his life and fished and he knows there's no prawns in there shall I open my bucket and got an handful of prawns out and showed him and then he, his face dropped and he didn't say another word he went see you later see you later mate and I blew him out the water guys I blew him completely out he didn't know what to say he couldn't say nothing so he went off in enough just to add that to the video yeah but look at that guys proper haul of prawn and shrimp just finished watching Levo's video today he's been fishing the Humber he had a few fish why not I was banging that <clears throat> I really enjoyed that video he caught the shrimp off Wivensey Beach and he was catching on down the Humber with them why not but after seeing this I think he's gonna want to build one of them and just have a go dragging down the Humber now he won't have to go far to use the bait he could drag on the same day and then fish on the same day or he could fish the day after collect his bait for the day after either way it's, it's a good idea what I do I show you how to get proper fresh bait I have had a session this week I fished Tuesday I didn't do a video I like I only went a couple of mates off the CB my mate Sandigger and Les off the CB radio local lads to me 
We went to fish King George car park. You know where that is. You've seen it in many of my videos. I had two flatties and a big eel. The eel was about two pound, just over. <laughs> so yeah, it wasn't a bad session. That was all. That they didn't get out. I was looking. There was lots of crabs on, so I didn't do too bad. But this would be pair. I was using them prawns, to be honest. That I caught on this session. I was still using them and catching on them. I caught that big eel on them. Them fr prawns. So here I am. I'm showing you the net and the shrimps coming out the net. As you can see, there is plenty of prawn in there and shrimp. You can see them jumping out the net. Look, we. And the good size prawns and shrimps, so they go on the up perfect. Just one of them on a nice size four, size six, or something like that was perfect for a bass when you're on the beach. Smooth hound may take them skate. Apparently, skate love them. I've only ever caught one skate on prawn, and it was fresh prawn and all that I caught from the umber. But I'm very grateful for what I got. And I've seen other people catch on them, skate and that, so yeah, why not? So yeah, I'm just getting back to the video. Here we go, look at the size of them. I'm not David Attenborough, guys, so don't strike me down. I try my best to show you the size of them. But as I said, I'm not a David Attenborough. <laughs> As you can see, put all the bycatch back, all the little ones back. Sand fleas, there's a sand flea. Put that back. I think that's what they call them, sand fleas, water fleas. Look at that big prawn. They throw a lot of prawns back, but I kept enough for the session and I wanted to put some in my freezer. So we're still going, as I said, with this. Cleaning the prawns up in the shrimp out the net. All the baby ones and everything goes back. <coughs> we scrape all them in. <coughs> then we get right to the back. Still got another compartment at the back to go through yet. You get like two compartments in a sense, sometimes three. One in one corner, one in the other. So you get one corner at a time and you push it. Oh, you can pull them all together, look. All my tub is, is just a basic, um, it was an old popcorn tub with a lid with some holes in the top. To keep them fresh in there, like. If you notice on my last one of these videos I did, if you go and watch that video that I put up in the link, you'll be able to have a look and go, well, he had a, pro a tank, back then I had my aerating system and I kept them prawns for about four days that fresh and alive in there I kept <coughs> changing the water over and keeping some I made me own basically water really it was fresh water from the tap but I added lots of salt to it and I spun it around and I seemed to like it in there they lasted four days which was quite nice so yeah I've had them up to four days with that system but I just couldn't find my aerator for some reason so I just thought we'll get them that way but it would have been nice to keep them fresh to get down on the beach with but what can you do when you're getting free bait you should be grateful you're getting some up I mean never take more than you need to take as I always say just take an, enough for your freezer and enough for a few sessions Never take the really small ones, just take the ones that are good size for the ups that you use. <coughs> but yeah, try to get uh, enough to make some little bags up. What I do is I count out 
I think sometimes I count bags of 30 to 20. Some bags I'll put 20 prawn in, some bags I'll put 30 in. And then the same with the shrimp, 20 and 30 if you can. And then you just mark on the bag what's in what, and then when you go fishing for your session, if you've got some other bait to go with it, fine, take some. Just take a bag of 20 if you're only going for a short session. <coughs> And if you're going for a long session, take a bag of 30. I'll just take two bags of 30, that's 60 shrimp. I don't think you're going to have 60 casts, but you never know. If the fish are on, and they're biting, then yeah, you might do. See, that was a shrimp, that one was. But take enough, you think you're going to, as many as you're going to, think you're going to need for the session. <coughs> it's no good actually running out, taking only a few and then run to get find out the fish are on, biting on them baits and you run out. Always take enough for the actual session. But no. It's a simple method and it's an easier way of getting free bait. I think there's I, I was doing a series on how to collect free bait I did maddies from down that pole, I got maddies, showed you how to collect them little maddies and then I did the prawn video, how to get free prawns and shrimp. Go and check out Landlock Sea Fishing, Rob, another one of my good mates, go and check him out, give him a subscribe, this is sort of something he'd enjoy <coughs> making his own me might already have a dragnet that he's made himself but it's, it's a good idea this will work on the beach you could attach it to a little boat and pull it along it'd work just the same but i designed it to be honest for the actual um humber but it could work on the beach just to say um, it does take a while to know right some of these videos because you've got to go all the way through the video and adding talk over it I am such grateful for all those that make their own videos and do their own editing it's they'll know what it takes to make a video it's not as simple as some people think they go mm, well, I've only put a short video if you know how long it takes to make a video and putting all the bits you want in and adding certain bits cutting out and stuff they're not as simple as people make out making your own videos. It's so, alright if you've got somebody out there who can do it for you. While well, you just make the video and they'll put it together for you. <coughs> but me I don't have that option. The videos you'll watch are all made by me. Louise helps. She does all the spelling. I do the um, putting together. For those that know, I know me, they know I don't read and write. I'm dyslexic, so a big out to all those dyslexic fishermen and dyslexic anglers that struggle to do their videos and put the spelling, what they want in and stuff. I know how hard it is myself, I'm going through it, you're all going through these things. But we get through it, as long as we can count our money, we know what we've got, we're sound. <laughs> Look at that, that's a shrimp, see a nice big shrimp. That was a male shrimp, that. Most of that's just um, baby shrimp and prawn. But you've got to go through it. Look at that. I put the smaller ones back. Another good one. You've got to actually sift through all that to actually find out what's in there. You could make a sieve, actually. Which would, you just tip it all in it for one. And then you just uh, sieve it through. More stuff to carry, but you could actually do a sieve with just the right amount of mesh. So all the small stuff goes through and you keep the bigger prawns. Which I might actually do that, guys. I might actually make myself a proper sieve with just the right amount of holes to keep the, the ones that I want to keep and the rest all goes back. It's a lot quicker than actually doing what I'm doing, sat there going through the whole thing. Could just tip it all into one sieve and shake it through. Most prawn boats that do this sort of thing and shrimp boats have the same system they shake it through on a sieve
So there is a mixture of new videos coming out and old videos. Now I've got where I wanted to be with the software and found everything I want to do. I've got a mix of stuff I want to put out so I've finished, I did save all the videos where I wanted to be edited while I couldn't edit them. I made a few so there's, I've got a few in the catalogue to be put out. But just appreciate what it takes to make these videos and you know sometimes it's like you could be suffering with your health at the same time so it does take a bit of time to get this stuff done I'm going to give some support to the um, the new channels that I've been going for, the channels that I've been going for a while that are struggling to get subscribers and stuff and the content is good stuff they, whatever they may be, fishing or whatever go around and offer some help if you can I mean share, share your support you know if you've got a lot of subscribers at least tell your subscribers about this channel thing you know see that shrimp on top look at them prawns there's plenty in there look and see them wow proper bit but yeah give you support to the smaller channels that are just starting and stuff all the ones that have been going for a while and really got far away I'm grateful for all my subscribers like I try and mix the stuff on the channel as you know right I've just had another haul a small haul up to Mr. Chills and back to make it short for you guys don't want too long but yeah basically it was just a short haul there and back to have another test because I just didn't fancy walking right back down there again when my legs was absolutely killing but yeah, I've got over two, well over 200 subscribers now, which is fine for me. Like, I'd like to have a thousand at least to try and get that, um, be able to go live without using any other apps. I'm not going to go into the um, 1,000 subscriber thing. I think it's silly. You shouldn't have to have that many. But yeah, I'm not going to go politicking and all that. It's not, not what I want to do. But yeah, you all know the reason. It's just mad there's another good haul and that, that was quite a lot of prawn and shrimp in this haul for such a small haul I only did 100 yards there and back all in all in about 100 yards and I got quite a few couldn't believe it So I'm just about to take the lid off. Some of the prawns and that were trying to jump out the bucket. I got. I needed a bigger bucket to be honest. A bigger bucket, they might have survived a bit, a lot longer. My last bucket was a one of them horse like garden water bucket things, quite a big thing, and it was a better bucket than that thing. So I will. I would advise taking a decent sized bucket. Like a window bucket or something, you know, that people do window washing with and wash your car with them big buckets. I'd recommend something like that. Because if you're going to get quite a few, you want you want them to be able to have space in there and that, so you're not killing them. You can get these new aerating tank things, but it is a preference to what you use but yeah they do aerating buckets and all sorts and old bags where you just put your shrimp in and you keep them fresh with this little pump that comes with it have a look into it if you fancy that idea but some of them if you're just gonna put some away for next time in your freezer you can freeze them like that whole instead of um, boiling them but I would say if you're going to freeze them, at least you want to get one session out of uh, once they've been frozen. They tend a bit mushy. 
so blanch them if you're going to put them in your freezer f freezer and use them for bait look how many I got there look you can see in that short haul but yeah blanch them scald in hot water in a pan make sure the pan's got a little bit of hot water already getting really scald in and make sure your kettle really scalds them and you just want to drop them in for a about 30 seconds give them a good shake up in the water and then straight out just want to blanch them so they go a nice ready colour and then they're ready they'll, that'll toughen them up when you freeze them in your, in your little bags you've got toughened prawns and I've been using them the last month since I got these and yeah I've caught on them quite a lot flounders and all sorts on them so yeah can't go wrong but now as you can see that was a really nice haul there and I didn't go very far I just did a couple of short hauls because my legs were aching and the rain was getting relentless so I thought well we'll try some short ones and I didn't do too bad on the short ones to be honest So yeah, apologise if I'm going on a bit, but I'm just explaining what's going on with this, and I hope everybody's all right. If you got this far into the video, like, and anyone can make one. If you get yourself a bit of steel tubing and make a square frame, and then you could do it like I have. Mine's a bit more rectangular, but like a circle side but you could make your own go watch the video as I said and how I made it didn't cost me now the only thing it cost me is a scar on my leg which I'll let you watch the video if you haven't seen it and you'll find out I've got the scar on my leg <laughs> making that net but no I'm certainly getting handfuls at the moment with them shrimp shrimp and prawn I believe this was the last haul if I remember rightly or there might have been a smaller haul another little haul after this but no see I've got some little fish in too comment down below if you know what them little fish were because I didn't know they were see through whatever they were they were like see through little pollock or something I don't know they could have been have been out. I didn't know. I've had pipe fish in the net too, up with my little pipe fish, little flounders, dabs. I had all sorts in the net to be honest. When you're pulling along, you don't know what you're going to drag up. You do get a lot of mess in there, like a lot of crappy bits, but also you get a lot of good prawn for not a lot of effort sorry if you've got a car but for me I have to get uh, my cycle out and cycle all the way down there without on the back of my bike and stuff it's not a simple process for me to go where I want to do man if there was a pier like that or a long straight on King George I'd do it down there but you just can't macro is the only real place you could do that you know You could possibly do it on Vicky Dock towards the stanchions up and down there, but you won't get much, I don't think. Or Marina, there's a chance of a good tide on there, you could drag it along there. But it's quite rocky, so you might lose it. Or in the marina itself, you could have a go. I guess there's plenty in there. shaking all the from the back making sure I get everything out if I get all the big prawns mixed that's still in there as you can see look still some right big prawns still in there and then shrimp I 
as I said I gave a bag to Vernon and a bag to Shane Shane gave me some ragworm and some peeler crabs in return and he gave Vern some peeler crabs and some ragworm too I gave Vern some of my um, sh shrimp and prawn I don't think he caught on them, I don't think any of us did that day in the video I caught that on squid that um, bass that I show in the video sometimes you get the odd little peeler in there you're dragging over some rough ground where the peelers harden you seem to suck him out I don't know how I've had a couple But yeah, that's just me going through the net. Still. I might cut it down a bit more in a minute, but I'll just leave me chatting to you. I'm showing you the big part of the net. That was Captain. trying out this new microphone thing I've got for my computer because it doesn't really have a microphone on the computer so you, you plug this external mic cable in and you just attach it to your t-shirt it works alright if you like it let us know in the comments if it works for the narration of the video let me know in the comments If there's out you want to see improved, give us a shout and I'll try and improve it if I can. And if I can't, then just how it's going to be. There's not much. Of I make these videos as a document of my life, in a sense, for my family and relatives and people that knew me and still know me and all that. And if ever anything goes wrong, I've got a a document of my life in a sense you can watch the video and think wow you know he was always happy in his own way in some points and some points he wasn't but yeah as you can see there's some little prawns that are still going around there's a little one he's having a little dance found a couple of bigger ones that I didn't know was in there and afterwards I just cleaned the wall down and swept it all with me any ones that were straggling so now we're coming to the end of the video now I'd like to show you all the prawns in the net of the bucket thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it as I said take care on and I shall see you on the next one. I'm just showing you the, the amount of prawns and stuff I got in there. There's hundreds in there. Absolutely hundreds. So you can't go wrong. All them prawn and shrimp for fresh bait. Beautiful. So yeah. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Where else are you going to get fresh bait like that? without doing it yourself there's not much you can do so don't forget if you like the video give it a thumbs up comment down below if you didn't thumbs down doesn't bother me I'm not bothered either way I just do these as a document of my life so if you like the videos and you aren't subscribed feel free to subscribe if you want I'm not saying you have to but it's nice just to get see your subscribers going up to know that people are appreciating what you're putting out there certainly is but not as you can see all them big shrimp and prawn so this has been a video